I'm back. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it was weird because like it almost like cut out. Like I went to hit the guest and it like slid up. So it like acted like I was shutting the app and I was like, I'm not shutting it. And then I click back on it and then I could see everybody's comments, but nobody could see me. And so I was like, all right, fine. I'll just like exit out and come back. Weird. You know, I was trying to turn on the guest request on so people could actually join if anybody had a question or whatever. Um, we'll get people back on here. Everybody's coming back on. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody's coming back, so thanks. Thanks for coming back. Good to go. Sounds good. Anybody want to join for a second? I've got the guest request tur turned on. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to turn on the guest request and I accidentally, like, swiped it up slightly and it thought the app was closing. And I was like, no. But anyways, guest request if you want to come on and um, share your story, ask a question, jump on, jump off. <laughs> what I abandoned you. I discarded you. Sorry. Um, I just couldn't handle it anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it probably wasn't a good joke, but I don't have good sense of tactfulness on that. What is the guest request? It's where you can click and go live in the video. Like you can video in basically. Um, but yeah. Studies show narcissists have empathy, but most cognitive empathy necessary for manipulation. That makes sense. I also think they have some levels of empathy, but they choose not to use it or it's buried because of trauma or events in the past. Um, emotion, I mean, these are called action empathy. Hmm. But yeah. Anyways. Y'all come back. Ask questions or guest requests. We still got some time to go. Actually, not a whole lot of time. It's already 10 o'clock. My time. So, half hour. Signs you're dating a narc at the beginning of the relationship. They don't listen to boundaries. They talk all about themselves. They explain too much about their past relationships. They're... Um, they tell you like way too much early on. Uh, they say I love you way too early, and they focus on future and talking about the future way too fast. Fudging kids, you have a thousand. Can you go live and tell about your narc mom? I might get you on here eventually. Oh, you have five sixty-two. Everybody, go follow Fudging Kids. So she can go live one day. Finally, changed my phone number. Do you think that'll be enough to stop the stalking and hoovering? It's gonna help. I think it's really good that you change the number versus like just trying to block a million numbers. You know, what's worse than exposing them in therapy? Uh, I don't really view that as being that bad. Like they'll find a way to manipulate or they'll get out of therapy and like rage at you. Um, you don't need baby weight drop to show your face and tell your story. Okay, why am I left blaming myself and thinking it's my fault? Probably because you're listening to the lies that the narcissist put on you, telling you that it's your fault, telling that it's your abuse, manipulation, that you treated them awful, all that kind of stuff. Fudging kids, people don't care. They care about your story and they care about honesty. That's it. Truth. <laughs> oh, but yeah. What else you guys got? Yeah, they're going to tell you that. She can't get on there yet because she's only got 562. Go follow her. <laughs> we'll get you on here. See, look at that. You got all this support. Now we just need to get you to 1,000. And then you can get on here. Some narcissists don't say I love you. Yeah, they love themselves. But yeah. Varies. Do they ever feel bad about what they did to you? No. I don't believe you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Um, still using kids to hurt me. Um, even after Greg Rock. Who's Greg Rock? Um, what else? Um, I mean, with, with using the kids, like you got to try to set as many boundaries as you can. You got to be there for the kids so that you hopefully like help them not become like the narcissist or become flying monkeys for the narcissist. Um, but with that, like try to make sure that there's boundaries in place so they're not able to communicate through the kids to you or anything like that um i feel like i'm not answering that right but i don't yeah sorry i might not be answering that right future faking future faking might be childish but a lot of people fall for it a lot of people go after it because they want that they want that you know off into the sunset thing and so they'll keep they'll sacrifice red flags for it
Yeah, if anybody wants to join, I've got the guest. Yeah, I've got the guest request turned on. You can click guest requests and and jump on here with me. I'm ignoring him just like he's ignoring me. Do you believe that he'll eventually try to Hoover? He might. So make sure there's no way he can Hoover. Narc said he's the whole and at piece of the new supply. Is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. Can you talk about sociopath narcissists? Uh, narcissists that know what they're doing, enjoy what they're doing, and love the pain of watching you hurt. I feel like the whole fairy tale was sold. Um, yeah. You said they can't love my... Whoop. You said they can't love. My question is, though, do they believe they love unaware they don't? Uh, oof, that's a good question. Um, I think they think that they're showing love, but their love is all like one sided and it's still geared around them. Why would my ex hang out with my friends months after breakup to mess with you? Either reverse Hoover or just mess with your head. And it was towards the end, he was more distant with me and wanted to. Yeah. Uh, even I burned that bridge with him. Will he still come back? I tried my best to destroy that. Um, I can't say never, say never. Like, you know, make sure that they're, make sure there's no way for them to come back. There's no way for them to contact you, get a hold of you, anything like that. Um, I'm covert, not grandiose, so you wouldn't see me coming. Triangulation flying monkeys from having your friends on tap. I've been together for four months when I, Bought my house. He completely lost it because it wasn't closer. Yeah. The trauma bond does end. I don't have a time frame. I can't tell you. It really depends on how honest you want to be and how much work you put into it. Um, should I remove him from my social media? You should block him and ghost him. Make sure there's no way for him to contact you ever. Wait, I'm a narcissist. Surprise. Covert is the best kind. <laughs> yeah. We're the best kind because we're the coolest. Uh, we don't come off as an asshole to start off with. Um, hey, Lee, thanks for jumping back in. Hey, hey. Lee, do you want to come on a minute or you still got the kids? <laughs> but yeah. How's a person be a narc? It started off early on with abuse or trauma or emotional neglect overbearing overbearing parents over controlling enabling parents yeah i forgot you guys got that um possible to be discarded for 20 more years ago and he has been looking for my replacement uh yeah I could see that lee's whole family's sick they got the vid Never fully heal without it, in my opinion. Have all that, but I never... I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it. Why do they do this to people? To people, how they care for them. Because they're not looking at how people care for them. They're looking for what they get from people. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but the 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 fallacy is, like, in your statement. Like, how could they do this to people that care for them? They, they don't care that people care for them. They care about how much people give them supply and, like, love them. You know, um, like they're, they're not acknowledging like, oh, my gosh, you love me so much. They're like, oh, my gosh, like I can control you so much. Oh, my gosh, I get so much out of you. What if your narcissist has a narcissist father and wants to please every beck and call? Mm, I don't think I have a good answer for that. Do they ever lose interest and move on? Sometimes I can't say always and I can't say one way or the other. Still rubbing new supply on your face after five years during child exchanges. Okay. I was going to ask you how, but then during child exchanges. Uh, start having someone else do the child exchanges. Like, drop them off. No, I'm just kidding. Child exchange, put the kid in the middle of the field and stand 50 feet away. No, I'm not having good advice now. Sorry. Is supply money as well? Uh, supply is getting you to give me money. Yeah. There's a lot of narcissists that rip you off of money. A lot of narcissists that take all your money. What? For most of us, we didn't choose that young. Let is a great description. Do 
so the difference with people brought up in the same type of household and one turns out empathetic and one turns out narcissistic is the emotional development like the emotional connecting like people helping them learn how to deal with their emotions like emotional safety i guess you could say like a lot of times you'll have a brother and a sister that are brought up in a narcissistic household one turns out empathetic one turns out narcissistic and a lot of times it's because of the emotional safety that each one was provided can you ever win an argument with a narcissist no why won't my questions post i read that one i don't know what the, i don't know what we're missing he wouldn't let me have access to the banks. I had a card about to ask these money. Yeah. I mean, they're very controlling with money. They're very good. Con- I mean, they're controlling with everything. Like, why did you take so long to go to the store? Like, who are you cheating on me with? Like, everything. How do you walk away after they make you feel like you're the worst person on earth? Uh, realize that you're not and that they're controlling and manipulating you. And you have to be able to walk away. It's the only way you'll get sanity. Why can't you win an argument? You can't win an argument because the narcissist is always going to be right. In their mind, in their head, they're always going to be right no matter what. So when you have an argument, like, okay, so you're going to argue with me, okay? You're going to argue with me about whatever. So first off, I'm going to argue back because I think I'm right. I want to be right. I have to be right because I can't take the uh, the reality that I might be wrong, might not be perfect, might have to be vulnerable, might have to be honest, and might have to admit I'm wrong. Can't say those words, so we can't go down that road. So one, I have to win the argument at all costs, no matter what. So I'm losing the argument. I'm starting to realize your logic actually makes sense. So what we have to step into is we have to start doing technicalities. So technically, I didn't do this. Technically, this isn't right. Technically, what you stated isn't correct correct have you actually done your research all this kind of stuff so i'm going to fight you on a technicality and it could just be one tiny thing it could just be one tiny thing like you know actually like you call that color blue um it's actually aqua like you really need to work on your colors first before you try to talk to me about this like literally it can be the tiniest thing we'll fight you on a technicality so that's the first line of defense second line of defense if i can't beat you on a technicality if i can't distract you on a technicality then i'll work us on distracting you by distorting your reality like that actually didn't happen like i didn't actually say that i've actually just been arguing the flip side for a while but like no like that actually wasn't what i was doing so gaslighting the other person making them think that they're crazy so they drop the conversation and move on that doesn't work we move on to the third thing and that's just destroying the person like are you for real like why are you getting so angry about this like you're really stupid about this like okay you just googled that like what do you know like do you have a degree like you're obviously not smart enough like then you destroy the person so Fight the argument. You got to win the argument. Beat on a technicality. Distract with gaslighting, or just destroy the person. Hopefully that answers your question. Will narc ever admit who they are behind closed doors? Typically, no. Yes, I'm a narcissist. Narcissist in recovery. We're working on it day by day. Yeah, the hold on to one thing, one tiny thing in the argument. If it can be proved or focused that it's there's something wrong with it it's like it's like the fallacy in the argument if i can prove that one thing is wrong in your argument then i'll say your whole argument's wrong guys i i i appreciate it thank you guys so um, check out like the different things that we have going on. So we're on YouTube. We'd love to have you interact with YouTube. We've got longer, I've got longer videos that I'm putting up on YouTube or building up an audience there on Instagram. Instagram's the same stuff as here. Instagram's not that exciting. Um, Facebook too, Facebook, Facebook's whatever. Um, do you have podcasts that I'm working on doing? Um, some of the podcast is just the YouTube videos, but not all of it. I started actually doing actual recording every single day. It's like eight minute podcasts, has like some cute music in the background. So it sounds like official, anything like that, but it's called inspire, motivate. Um, and we've got that on Apple podcasts and on, um, sorry, that's what I'm calling the episodes. The actual, what it's under is raw motivations. Everything's under raw motivations now. Um, but it's on under Apple podcasts and also under, um, blanking Spotify. So go on there, check it out. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of excited about like the little podcasts. They're nothing big. And like, sometimes it's me rambling, but, um, it's kind of exciting. Yes, we do have the app. So if you're interested, the app is in approval process right now. So, 
I got an email from the distributors that the one on Google hopefully is going to be live within the week. Apple takes a little bit longer. We're still waiting on Apple approval to get the NARC, the NARC app up. So it is NARC, N-A-R-C, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community. We're building that to try to build awareness, to try to combine a lot of people that have been in narcissistic abusive relationships to get them on the same platform, let them interact. You can message people inside the app. You can have a section to post, still work on developing it, um, but get on there, check it out. Um, it's nothing crazy and it's nothing super expensive. I'm just trying to get people on there to be able to help grow the app, be able to like it's still in its like baby phase. Like I've got like a couple things on there. I've got Lee who's gonna be working on some videos for a course. I've got some some coursework I got from Unfiltered ed.net um that's like a good narcissistic site um heather's gonna be doing some stuff um i talked to uh i talked to mending me i put the invite out there i don't know if she's gonna do a, a course on it but i'd love for her to be able to do a course on there as well um so really just trying to work on combining a lot of information on the narc app so that you guys have access to it and you guys are able to be able to see and then go through it's like set up in like lesson format so go through and be able to learn different things so the actual app you can't download it yet but you can go ahead and sign up on the web version and any progress that you do on there will just go ahead and slide over um we'll just go ahead and slide over whenever you download the app so it all works the same once the app is live you can log in on the app um, you can log in on the computer. Um, you can do it like anywhere kind of a thing. So um, go, um, if you want to look into it or get, get on the web version, yeah, the web version is up. Um, web version, it's actually been live for a while. I just been too scared to say anything. No, I mean, it's been up. I've just been working on adding stuff. So web version is go up. <laughs> Cannot talk tonight, guys. Sorry. Um, raw motivations, rawmotivations.com. Same as my username, just without the underscore. Rawmotivations.com. My link is in the bio. I'm not getting off just yet. It sounds like I'm getting off. Well, rawmotivations.com. You can go there. There is a NARC app a button, tab, whatever you want to call it. Here, I'll refresh the page. There you can see. It's like backwards. I guess I... Guys, I'll just turn the camera around. Sorry, I forgot how to do it. There we go. All right, so here's the website. If you guys haven't been, check it out. Ugh, here's me. All right, Narcissism Recovery. So working on that. Um, about page is being worked on a little bit, but check this out. Oh, down here. Resources, Influence, and Friends. Here we go. Hey, check out that guy. Um, put him on here. Um, you can read about him. You can you can reach out to his page of stuff, too. Um, got Heather on here as well. So narcissistic abuse in um, coaching situations and work situations. Got a little bit on here. You can reach out to her. Um, and then um, there's a new one that I don't think everybody's heard of before, but unfiltered.net. Um, Julian and Elijah Aiken. And you can reach out. They got a good website here and you can contact them as well. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Nobody really knows them yet, but um, we've been talking more on the side and everything. So anyways, um, up here, we got one-on-ones. I'll just run through the whole thing since we're here. Got one-on-ones. I had some awesome people that had done one-on-ones with me that actually sent some stuff in. So I put there, like, don't take my word for it. Like, if you don't want to meet with me, like, that's no skin off my nose. Like, I don't really care. I'm here to try to be able to help people who want help if if you don't want to talk to me then don't worry about it um but i've got some people that like wrote some stuff and just saying like either what they went through or how i was able to help them um yes sorry but there's a price increase coming end of january so february 1st um so if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one, here's a tip oh that's like all messed up all right i gotta fix that tonight um if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one, here's a tip just like book it sometime before um, February 1st and you get the same pricing that's here right now. Um, do you have breaking the trauma bond workshop? So it's open. There's, uh, I think eight or seven slots left, um, for people to jump in and be able to go through that. So it is two hours and 15 minutes. It's like a group. Uh, last time we did it, I think there's a total of like four or five people signed up. Uh, a couple people that weren't able to make it. Um, but also watch the video. Hi, real quick, uh, narcissist abuse recovery. So just talking to people, um, going through everything that they're going through. We've got the 30, 60, 90 minute 
Um, I got the section here updated for Narcissist. Thank you, Arwen. Let's chat. Um, and then this one is something that a couple people um, wanted me to do. So coaching packages. So there's a couple people that I start, I've start i started to meet with like consistently, um, like multiple times, um, not a week, but like every, every week kind of thing. Um, I'm willing to do that for people. And for me, all right, so a little bit of transparency. I, I wasn't a huge fan of like updating prices and like raising them up. I'm going up to like Lee and Heather's prices. So we're all going to kind of be the same. Um, but for me, like the last... Well, uh, the last couple ones that I had, I was like, hey, by the way, my prices are increasing. And I had a couple people in the coaching sessions being like, yeah, I actually thought you were underpriced. So I was like, okay, then I guess it's time. Um, but how I justified it in my mind is the prices will be going up, but the coaching prices are basically the same price as right now. Um, and these are not changing. So the coaching prices are locked in. Um, these prices are locked in. That's that's what it's going to. 30 minutes for 45, 75 and then 105 or whatever and then these are the prices will be changing into the month anyways that's enough of that i don't like talking about money all right and then we have um the narc app so like super cool super excited um the web app version is here so if you go to my website click on the narc app like this is what it looks like like look at this like i'm not saying like oh my gosh i i designed this because it's all like an app that helps me build it but like um it just looks sharp I'm excited about it. I'm excited to get people on here. So there's different like courses. Like there's one, so it's got like four, uh, no, I've done four. It's got like 12 lessons in it. So it's talking about MPD defined and like me talking through it. Um, we've got different things. It's got the podcast that's linked on here. Gonna have videos. I can actually go live inside this as well. So people can submit questions and I can go live. Um, why am I doing this the hard way? Here, there we go. All right, nobody's seen this before. Well, there's a couple people. All right, so we got some of this on here. So here we go, click on the learn. All right, so right now we've got narcissism up here, um, audio archive, live stream, a couple other things that are that are coming. And so when you click on it, it actually opens you up into the course. You can continue through it. You can like open it up, click on it. Oh, that's me. Um, talks about different things so like it gives you like an overview then you click like next like it's it's built like in a curriculum format and I'm trying to work on like developing and like adding a bunch of stuff more um, but but yeah so anyways that's the app there's also a community again it's like early on so I don't have a lot of stuff on here but I'm gonna add more stuff as people give more advice and thoughts and stuff like that so um, but yeah, and then they actually have some tracking. We're working on developing that. So no contact check-in, like come in on the app each day, put what day you're on, um, put like truth journal, come in the app each day, like put in like, Hey, this is what I'm learning today. This is what I'm working on. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, anyways, that's, that's that again, the website, uh, we've got the videos. You can watch the YouTube videos on here. Those pop up as well. And then also we have the podcast. Um, it's linked on here. It's easier if you just grab it off of Spotify or whatever. These ones that I was telling you guys about, um, these ones I'm like the most excited about because these you can't get anywhere else. Like they're not on TikTok, they're not on YouTube, but the ones that say inspire, motivate, that's only on the podcast. Um, and they're kind of, uh, um, I mean, they're kind of like random. So that one's on vulnerability. This one's on minimizing. Um, it only shows five on the website, but uh, I think this was like number six in the series or whatever. So I'm gonna keep doing these. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just neat. But anyways, the Inspire Motivate ones, those you can only listen to on um, the podcast on Apple or Spotify or the website or Anchor or whatever. But um, anyways, sorry, that was a long explanation, but the website's raw motivation is linked in the bio. Um, I'm trying to like have more people go to the website just because I'm I'm trying to link everything to it. That way you can be able to get to everything. Um, but yeah. Anyways, sorry I missed whatever questions that that you guys have had. But you can go on go on to, just go to my website, check it out, see what's on there. Like if you want to do a one on one, grab one. Um, if you want to look into the NARC app, go ahead and like sign up. We'd love to have more people join on that. 
as soon as it, it drops, I'll be letting everybody know and like having like putting posts up and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I would love to have more people like start joining now just so I can actually see what I need to work on, what I need to develop. Um, whenever I like bought like the initial like rights to the app and to like start doing it, I was like kind of freaking out because I was like, this is a big investment. Um, it was over a thousand dollars. Um, it was a big investment, but I'm excited about it and I think it's going to help um a lot of people so yeah jump jump on start the web version sign up on the web version and then the app will be coming it's in the approval process so we're just waiting on apple and we're just waiting on um google play um to be able to come in so um the app it's on my website so go to rawmotivations.com but it's called the narc app narcissistic abuse recovery community so a place of like-minded people that have all been with a narcissist and a narcissist um relationship um a way trying to have it a way where we can um build community um in a safer and an easier environment um than you know just being all on here um also a way to provide like tracking and then another way just to provide like courses like i want to develop um courses and then develop even more like into like my coaching and trying to help other people um as best i can it's it's really cool because like uh, that's one of the reasons why I started just, I literally just put them up yesterday, the the coaching packages where people can get a coaching package where I'll meet with you like three times, five times, 10 times. Cause like I started to work with people in like the past week, the out of the appointments. This week was crazy. I had 18 appointments this week. Like 18, uh, like with the next two days, like 18 and like full Sunday to Saturday. So it was like, it's been a very busy week but out of those i've had three that were like can i go ahead and start meeting with you like regular because i'm trying to provide opportunity to be able to help them through the relationship through what is going on through getting out of it but then also they're seeing like benefits and just helping coach and other aspects of life and things like that as well um do you help both victims and narcs alike yes um i do have some narcissists that reach out to me um most i haven't seen follow through very much but it is an option for them to reach out so um the majority of people i talk to is more along the narcissistic abuse uh narcissistic abuse recovery side um just trying to help them find healing growth change be able to work through the crazy lies that's been put on them that's been put on them how can you become a coach? Join the app. Join the app and then interact on there. And like, I'd love to interact more because, and also reach out on the app page. There's a contact form on there of people that are interested in like helping develop like content for it. I think that'd be a good step in that direction if you're interested. But yeah. Um, for people who've been asking, I know we're like winding down here. People are jumping off. But people have been asking, I have brought up and my wife is actually considering it. She's not like a thousand percent on board, but she's actually been like, ah, I might actually be willing to jump in on um, one-on-ones. So either that we would put something on the website where we could do one-on-ones together um, or that she would actually put on the website where she would be willing to do one-on-ones like you'd meet with her. Um, and like every time like she brings it up, she's like, do you think people would want that? I'm like, yes. Like people have asked for it like multiple times. Um, I think she's still like debating it. And I think she's, I think there's also an aspect that she's probably worried that someday someone's going to, um, like request to meet with her and going to come on there and like shame her because she's still with me or something. And I, that's probably a fear in the back of her mind. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can um uh if you missed the live, you can go on, you can see it on YouTube. It's uploaded on YouTube. Um all my lives I try to put up um like if you miss like these lives, um I have been putting it back up on YouTube. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can watch them. Most of the time I can get them out of TikTok. The last one that we had with Lee and with Cluster B, um I couldn't because we had that community violation that kicked Lee out. Um so yeah, it actually wouldn't let me download it. But Pretty much all the other lives that I've done on here, excuse me, um, I'll upload onto YouTube. Were you with your wife before you started getting help? Uh, I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Was I with my wife before I started? Yeah, I was with my before I before I started getting help. 
So we've been together eight years. I've been in therapy now for consistent everyday therapy with the one I'm with now since March. So coming up on a year in the next couple months or so. That would have been a good one to upload to. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting one. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I need to... I don't know, maybe I need to do one of those like short videos to put on TikTok of like, how many of y'all be interested in my wife doing one-on-ones and like seeing like the response there and then I can actually like show her and be like, see, they want to do it. Um, Just understand that your life thing. <laughs> That's good. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, I do Zoom. So if you go onto the website and like just or grab a time during the one-on-ones. Um, it's kind of cool. It just sends you, um, it sends you a link that we can both log into Zoom at the same time and talk. Yeah, no, absolutely. Do that and also a short TikTok. Yeah, I've got a couple like short TikToks coming out. I recorded nineteen today. Um, yeah, I. I prefer face to face. I feel like it's easier to interact with people and stuff like that. Um, I think I've done one that was just voice, but that was because the Zoom wasn't working. So like we ended up doing it like on the phone. Um, yeah, face to face is like a definite. If I'm meeting with like both people, like the husband, and the wife, or both people in there. Um, but yeah, no, I. That's why that's why I like answering comments on here, but like I love it too when people come in as like a guest because I don't know, I just like the interaction, being able to like interact with people or like kind of like read what's going on. And honestly, I think face to face helps a lot with the one on ones because it makes it a little bit more personable for the other person because otherwise I think it can be I mean it's difficult. Like I have people that get on one on ones and they're like I I had a lot of anxiety before I got on with one on with before I got on a one-on-one -on -one with you, you know, I've had a lot of people that like, you know, they're, they're worried or they're afraid that they're going to come on and get like shamed. Like they're on there and they're crying because of everything they've gone through. I'm like, I'm not here to shame you. I'm here to try to help you. Um, but sometimes you can't see or pick up on that if it's just over the phone, you know, but yeah. Uh, just listen to your podcast. Do you feel guilty about leaving? Wow. That was hard to hear. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to with the like I, I have a podcast I don't know which one you're referring to guilty about leaving um my wife left for a period of time I didn't leave like I mean I stayed here she left for a period of time and then she came back mm, but narcs typically don't feel guilty about leaving or discarding other people because it's all about them but anyways Anything else you guys got? We're going to be wrapping it up here. Most people have jumped off already. We are at like 100 something earlier. Is there a way from my to prevent my sons from becoming a narcissist? Um, really just trying to help them develop emotionally. Uh, make sure you don't shame them, discount them. Yeah, I think it'd be good if she shared her story too. She started to a little bit on TikTok when she started an account and it kind of took off a little bit, but she couldn't, she wasn't comfortable dealing with like some of the comments, some people that would come after and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, check out the website. Keep breaking up with him, but he just goes to sleep and wakes up like it never happened. Yeah, that's why you have to ghost no go no contact. Do narcs make good contacts? Wow, cannot read. Do narcs make good parents? Do abusers make good parents? They're not willing to change and acknowledge who they are. Then no, they won't. Did you ever leave someone for an extended period of time and then come back? Uh, no, not really. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm like, fade together. We live together. Move out. Leave. Yeah, TikTok. 
Dude, that can be a little awful. YouTube was awful when I started off. YouTube was brutal starting off. YouTube's gotten a lot better now. The comments have gotten less worse. YouTube was like triggering me and like bringing out the nurse side of me. Well, I mean, just the part that I didn't care. Like I'd have a video on like where I'd like talk about like um, gaslighting or like cheating or something like that. And I'd have all these like trolls in the comments on YouTube like typing out word like letter by letter cheater and like all this stuff. And I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. Did you not like read, like listen to it? Like I talk about that. Like I'm not proud of it, but I'm also not like advertising like hey this is a good thing like i'm saying this is who i've been who i've done you're like saying the same thing that's in my video i don't know there's a couple that i just started engaging with i'm like hey thanks for your engagement i would love for it to be more profitable than you just stating the obvious <laughs> but roller coaster ride creates trombone yeah 100 percent. it's possible there's some people that say it's like not possible but i do think it is possible to get out does it make me want to close off? No, it makes me want to like fight him or call him out or like I just laugh because like sometimes it's so stupid. Uh, narc tendencies doesn't really lead to NPD because that's something that's developed like earlier on in life, before your teen, before your the stuff that's up until like you're eighteen that end up causing it. A therapist isn't going to diagnose on command. A lot, I think a lot of therapists shy away from diagnosing someone as a narcissist because of the fact it doesn't make money. Like, narcissist doesn't want to change. Nothing's wrong with them. Why would they want to go to therapy? And you can't prescribe anything. You can't have them do a surgery or anything like that. So, like, I, I think a lot of people shy away from trying to diagnose narcs. And narcs are going to go to get diagnosed at all. He doesn't want to let me go without a fight and saying it's my fault. Yeah, he wants to blame you. He wants to make it your fault, even if it's, even though it's a hundred percent not your fault, he still wants to blame you for it, and that's a perfect story to be able to tell the next victim, the next person. We need to do a course on. Um, we need to do a course on parenting. Um, I'll prove you gaslighting, devaluing trolls. I don't know, I I think it's funny. Like I'll laugh at them and I'll be like, "You're stupid," you know. <laughs> like, though I think I noticed the most when I did the live with Kayla because I was I was running live on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, and the YouTube comments were like brutal. I told her I was like, "Just don't look at YouTube. Like, just let the comments go." We had TikTok like casted to the screen so we could actually see all of people's statements. It actually worked really well. Um, but yeah, I was like, just ignore YouTube. Yeah, I think we should do. I think we should do a. Um, yeah, I need to add that to my list of courses to put on the app. Is one about parenting. Muted people here. Yeah, they went to YouTube. I feel like we haven't had to mute people a lot on here. Um, I also I haven't done like the triple lives. Like after that live, we were doing some where I had them on all three, um, and. I don't know. I was trying to grow that platform by doing that, and I I I love lives with y'all better than I do YouTube. I know I need to do it some, but YouTube's actually grown pretty good. Like YouTube's at like thirty four hundred or whatever. TikTok's been the one that su surprised me. Like literally, like cannot thank you guys enough for like sharing stuff and like communicating stuff out there because, like, we're talking what was it, six days ago? Like, the the platform here on, on TikTok has grown, like, just, like, followers has grown, like, I think around, like, 3,500 people in six days. Like, six days ago, I was at, like, 47K, and now we're approaching, like, 50-something. So, I know it's above 50. Yeah, I know, TikTok's really good, but YouTube is where it's at for the longer videos, for sure. Even the three minutes of videos in here don't do the greatest. Um, what's interesting for me is on TikTok, if I post a video that's not a response to a comment, like it doesn't go out. Like I'll post a video with a comment and it'll get like 5,000 views and I'll post a video without a comment, like just me talking and it gets like 100. I'm like, okay, it's just interesting. I think it's because the algorithm doesn't know me for that. They don't know me for doing stuff different than just replying to comments. Not like other creators like Lee where he does like skits and stuff like that that's not like a response to a comment. It's him coming up with the content. 
Yeah, I haven't I haven't done many because every time I do them, they like flop. Not that I like care that much. I'm not like, oh my gosh, like they flop. Like I don't really care, but it's like. I don't really want to put a lot of time into it if it's not going to get out there for people to see. Yeah, his narc on narc are hilarious. They're they're sometimes a little triggering for me because the girl that I was with that had BPD and narc tendencies. I'm like, crap, that was that was us. Like, sad but true. Like when we're really honest about it. But yeah. Yo, it's been great. It's a really good live. I like I like the lives on TikTok. I really do. I think they're a lot more fun than any other platform. But anyways, anything else? We wrapping up here. One thing you said to me in response to my comment changed my life positive. Good. That's awesome. I'm glad that I'm glad that something helped. That's what we're on here to try to do. Uh, Chico Benito, you always ask me about the BPD relationship. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared to put it up. One, it's like super vulnerable. And then two, the last time I put anything on TikTok up about BPD, all all the BPD came out to crucify me. And all I did was read off the DSM-5. <sighs> I like got into it with somebody in the comments. But like, that was... Uh, that was something. I literally, like, I literally had the DSM-5 pulled up, and you can see me in the video. I say something about BPD. I think it was my video. I was like, yeah, BPD is confusing. And then I literally, like, turned and read off the DSM-5. I read the comments, and, like, I had a bunch of people come after me. There was some really, like, hilarious comments in there, too. And someone else, like, they read through, like, oh, like, highly reactive in something. This is, this is not surprising how the comments went this way. Um. Uh, I think BPD has like variations of it, like a spectrum as well. I think NPD is a lot is a lot worse. Careful, careful, Bruce. Get people will come for you. <laughs> they they have a lot of they ha have a lot of um tendencies that are similar, but they have a lot of traits that can be mistaken. You know. Yeah, I mean. Any anything out there is gonna have its downsides. It depends on motivation and how people use it, you know? Like as a narcissist, like I have a lot of really bad downsides, but we're working on them. So if you ever do one day I watch it. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh you guys got extra empathy and we got no empathy. BPD root fear is abandonment and MPD is shame. Yep. That would be true. And it's crazy because sometimes they cross over some. Have you talked about giving hope? Someone who thinks their narc has changed. Uh, I really don't talk about giving hope because I try to make sure people don't think I am giving hope. Like, all right, if you want hope, listen to this. If your narcissist is showing honest vulnerability and consistent change, you can look into that. Otherwise, there is no hope. Yeah, that's all I got on hope. Hope is a catalyst for a trauma bond. And hope is a catalyst to make you go back after you've already broken it off. So I try not to give hope. It's got to be fruit. Otherwise, there's no hope. Anyways. Everybody's getting quiet. We're wrapping down. We've been on here two hours, except for the minute blip of me getting off and back on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all your support. Follow me. Subscribe to YouTube. Check out the longer videos there. Check out the website, rawmotivations.com. Like the video, share the videos. Just help spread awareness. So, cool. Thank you all so much. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place. So, but yeah, we'll be back next uh, next Thursday. So, I need to see about doing another live in the morning. I did I did a live randomly last week or the week before. I had a like a six a.m. appointment, 
and I got to it and the person like forgot. Uh, no, they didn't forget. They, they misscheduled because of the time difference and everything. All my stuff is not Eastern time. It says on the website, but people don't miss it. Um, but they, they missed up the time. So I was like 6 AM and, um, I don't, I don't have anything else right now. So I like pulled up and like did a live at 6 AM on a Saturday. And I was actually surprised. There was like 30s, 40s on people that like got on. Um, there's like everybody that's like across the pond, you know, the UK, all that kind of stuff. I talked to someone today that was in Belgium. It was pretty cool. Uh, but my time right now is 1046. Um, but yeah, next week we'll be back at 846 Eastern time. 846, 840 Eastern time. So try to give me enough time that way we can get Sophia down and then popping up here. Anyway, oh, at oh, that time, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do a live. I, I was I was live that one day because I was up already. From Bor, Borneo? I don't even know where that is. Borneo? Is that an island? Definitely gets worth with age and not seek awareness. Oh, that's cool. That's an island. Google Maps. Let's see where you're at. Malaysia. Okay. Cool. Welcome from the island. You're like way across the pond then. Well, that's cool. It's really cool just being able to like interact with people on... <laughs> yeah, it got quiet. Um, In like different parts of the country, different parts of the world. Like, um, like Canada, Belgium, Ukraine... Um, I'm trying to remember like all the different places, but it's, it's been really cool. Yeah, we'll be on. We'll be on next week. Hawaii, Aloha. I need to start off like just asking where everybody is sometimes because it's it's pretty cool. Everybody is. It's pretty cool. I I I love it honestly when I do like one on ones because I like, come on and somebody comes on with an accent. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Um, I think accents are cool. Um. But yeah, it's probably a good thing none of my supplies had accents. I'd be like, oh my gosh. No, it's, it's pretty cool just interact with people like all over the place. But yeah, if you're coming on, I'm getting off. Sorry. Go to rawmotivations.com. Check out the website. Check out all the tabs. The NARC app, the one-on-ones, the podcast, the videos. Follow me on YouTube. Help us promote those longer videos. And yeah, that's about it. Cool. Anyways, thank you guys. I'm gonna log off here. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. We'll be live next week. We have a new. Yeah, the new video that's up on YouTube dropped today. Narcissists want to control you. I haven't even looked to see now it does. They drop give you a give you insider insider scoop. All my YouTube videos drop at three PM Eastern time every day. If you want a sneak peek, the um the podcast for it drops at two o'clock each day. But yeah. YouTube's starting to pick up, which is pretty cool. Instagram picked up randomly. It was like, it was like low for a while, and Instagram like jumped up. I think Instagram's at like seven k right now followers. I was kind of surprised. Like at four a.m. next week, uh, it's four a.m. Oh my gosh! Well, I guess it'd be like what five, six a.m. now. Hey, well, if it helps anything, four days out of the week, I get up at one fifty, no, one thirty. I go to work at 2 a.m. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So four days of the week I'm up like super early. But I can't like be on social media or stuff like that. I'd drop like a TikTok, but that's about it. Drop a TikTok on my way to work. And then one after work and then one in the evening. Right now I post TikToks. Right now I post three TikToks a day. And then in the evening I slide those TikToks over to 
Facebook and Instagram. Um, right now I have, I don't know what I have right now. I have, I think like a hundred drafts ready to go. I sit down and I do them in bulk and I go through and I get like a bunch of comments, respond to them and sit down and do them in bulk. And then I pulled back cause I was trying to get everything caught up on Instagram and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. Cause I was like so behind. I was trying to get all the platforms to like show the same stuff the same day basically. And like I got behind, so I was like, I'm going to limit it. So I do it like, um, three a day right now. I might need to do like, I might go up to like four a day once I get into a good rhythm, but we'll see. Anyways. Yeah. Busy. Trying to do all of this, run that job, start another business as well. But Whatever we can do to grow, expand the business, and help people. It's like multiple things at once. Cool. Well, anyways, thank you all so much. We will see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Thursday evening, 8, 8.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Cool. I'll take care.